All right. Okay. Well, get started. It is March 31st, and uh, 49 days before we get married. I can't believe we're saying before we get married because <laughs> this is the place, St. Peter's Church, where we met. And I remember when we weren't engaged, and I remember when we hadn't even met yet. And I remember a lot of months and a lot of years waiting for the right person. I think it was it was Wednesday, December 1st, and Bo came downtown and met with me, and we, we talked about, um, you know, we both go to Ascension, and, and he finally said, well, how can I pray for you? And I said, what do you mean? And this is before he left the office, and, and he literally pulls out a journal that looked like he'd been writing prayers feverishly for forever, and, and I said, I'm not... I said, to be honest, I'm a little uncomfortable in uh, not having that person in my life. And when he said, you know, we're going to pray, my family's going to pray for you, that you meet, that God introduces the right person to you. from a girlfriend from college that I hadn't talked to for quite some time. And she had said, there's an event tomorrow night at St. Peter's Church called Reservoir. And she said, you have to come with me. And um, she said, a few weeks back, I met your future husband. He's going to be there tomorrow night. <laughs> and so I went. So I remember sitting literally up there um, and sitting by myself. And, um, you know, kind of in prayer, just sitting there. It was time to, you know, that session, uh, section of the evening to go to confession. And I walked uh, back through this little aisle. And as I was turning the corner to get in line, um, my mind went completely blank because I saw you. I remember seeing you after the event. Um, you were walking back down this aisle, and I was like, wow, he is handsome. <laughs> So I was really excited that, you know, I was looking at my, my table number, table six, and I was hoping that maybe I'd be lucky enough that, you know, you'd be sitting at table six. And you did. You got stuck right next to me. You were, I mean, you being nice and just the essence of who you are came out literally the first minutes of meeting you. And there was a someone I could tell that at the table probably was a little on the awkward side and probably didn't have the greatest social skills. And you do exactly what you now I know that you do all the time. You make people feel comfortable, and you included that person and talked to them. And I mean, I was one. I was just thinking, I love this person. She's a really nice person. <laughs> uh, and two, I was like, she's so nice. I mean, that's you know, I just loved it. I remember being so nervous that you were sitting next to me, but you asked me about a bajillion questions that night. <laughs> I want to know a lot about you. <laughs> and I kept saying. Not much. <laughs> I like to jazzercise. Um, and so I thought for sure there was no way you were going to remember me. And uh, I'd say immediately when I got in the car, um, it, was, it was kind of emotional on the way home because everything was kind of hitting me all at once. Literally the last 24 hours of meeting Bo, Bo saying he was going to pray for me and his family would. And I instantly thought that God had revealed that person that I've always wanted to be revealed to me. I remember getting in the car and calling my mom and I said, Mom, are you sitting down? And she said, yeah. I, said, I think I met my future husband tonight. And she said, oh, and you tell me that all the time. And I said, no, this time I'm serious. And so I went on your Facebook and I pulled off some pictures and I labeled them future husband one and future husband two and I sent them over to my mom and she thought I had quite a catch. And I got home and I instantly tried to find you on Facebook. <laughs> and since we weren't friends and you kind of keep your profile a little private, <laughs> I could only see your profile picture. Yeah. So I continually kept looking at that picture the next day while I was at work. And I literally had my mouse hanging over the add, add friend button uh, for well, probably between 8 till 10.30 in the morning. And then suddenly I got a little email notification that someone had added me on Facebook. So we were Little kinda, did you know. 
And um, so then the next day at work, I went into work and I said, girls, you're not gonna believe this. I met my future husband last night. I said, but he doesn't even know my first name. But I met him, I met him last night and they were all so excited. And Let's pull him up on Facebook, let's take a look. And so we pulled you up on Facebook and they thought that I should add you on Facebook right away as a friend to kind mm -hmm. of get to know you. But I always was a firm believer that the guy was to pursue the woman. So I was gonna make you work for it. <laughs> and my coworker who sits next to me said, well, would it be okay if I clicked ad? <laughs> <laughs> and so after about 20 minutes of finally talking about this, I thought that that was a good idea. And sure enough, she clicked ad, and two minutes later, I had a big lengthy email from you. <laughs> <laughs> that first day or two, I wasn't probably working that much. I was literally just <laughs> wanting to communicate more with you and, and couldn't wait to figure out you know, how to take the next step and go, go on a date or something. I liked getting your emails. You would send them every day, many throughout the day, <laughs> but I learned so much. I was a little nervous in those emails, but at the same time, I mean, everything you wrote back, I kept thinking, this person's amazing. Just everything about you from your emails, I just couldn't wait to go out on that first date. So we go out, my whole family knew. My whole family knew this is what I was gonna do and I'd showed everybody the ring the day before and they were like, oh, all right, I can't wait. And we'd scheduled a beach day and uh, we went to a restaurant and um, already my family was already working on it. They, we were trying to figure out how we're gonna distract you so that you and I could have some quiet time on the beach to ourselves. You sent me an email one time with a video that you really liked and it says, marry me. And by train. By train. And I thought, who does that? Who, 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 who's not a girlfriend yet sends Marry Me as a song to their uh, prospective boyfriend? Well, anyways, that song has become our song. And uh, we, uh, I took that and put it on my phone because I wanted to use that on the beach. And my sister was trying to help us be a little bit, uh, uh, try to distract you. And she's like, oh, you know, one of the kids needs their diaper changed. Why don't you guys all go off by yourself? So you and I started heading out in the sand and walk out to the beach, and I said, I still had no idea. Right, I love that. And we're we're walking. I said, you know, let's go ahead and sit down. And the sunset setting, and the water was beautiful. And I uh, set my phone down, and I went to one of those songs, which was "Train Marry Me." There I was. I was going to read to you a bunch of things, and I got all caught up in the moment, and I just and I said, you know, Angel, would you be my wife? And I opened up the box, and the first thing he said is, Are, are you serious? <laughs> are you kidding? I said, No, I'm dead serious. And instantly you start screaming, Yes, yes. That was it. That was the night. Love has finally shown her my way.